when we're converting from radians into degrees. Again, remember that there are pi radians is 180 degrees. Right. So we're going to multiply by a fraction, and we're going to want the pi radians in the denominator and the 180 degrees in the numerator. The reason we want the pi radians in the denominator is to get the pi's to cancel, and the units will cancel as well. So what we're left with is this expression of 7 times 180 degrees over 3. And we can do a little simplifying there. We know that 3 goes into 180 60 times. So 7 times 60 degrees is 420 degrees. When we have 7 pi over 6, we're going to multiply by our unit multiplier. Uh, it's either going to be pi over 180 or 180 over pi. Of course, we want the pi in the denominator, so 180 degrees will go on top. We do that so that the pi's will cancel. We're left with 7 times 180 over 6. 6 goes into 180 30 times. So 7 times 30 degrees is 210 degrees. Now for another weird one, the idea is still the same. We want pi in the denominator, so 180 degrees in the numerator. The pi's will cancel. We're left with 19 times 180 degrees over 60. 60 goes into 180 three times. Keeping those units around. 19 times 3 is 57, so we get 57 degrees.